What up, everybody? This is Jason, Zombie Collector, and I haven't done a response video, a video response uh, in a long time. So, uh, my buddy Tony, JP Wisco, shout out. He'll be popping up again here later. Uh, did a video a couple days ago um, and talked about a new channel, Four Collectors. And you're thinking, Four Collectors, is that F O R? Is that F O U R? The number four. Well, it is four collectors, um, and it's four guys joining forces like the Fantastic Four to come together with what looks like it to be some positive, uplifting content. And with these four guys, you cannot get more positive and uplifting. And so I'm excited to bring some attention to that, even though, you know, my channel is uh, small potatoes, small taters compared to so many, so many other channels out there. But this one looks to be like a fun uh, opportunity to support them at the ground level, right at the inception. And uh, the four guys we're talking about together who joined forces is Pepino Man, Caesar, James Elite Hunters, Theo Clemente Collector, and John 3D 80s Kid. Uh, some of the guys have been around for a while. You know, most people, everybody knows Caesar. He's been around since Jesus was a baby. Uh, Elite Hunters, James, great guy, great collection. Um, you know, Caesar is, you know, I know they mentioned this in the video, kind of like, you know, make them not be so square, like, like the comedy relief. And that's true. He is a great and hilarious guy. But as you all know, he is a wealth of knowledge. His collection is amazing. And uh, he knows his stuff. And so uh, it's, he does a lot of with the shenanigans, which is great. But, you know, let's be honest, like Caesar knows his stuff, which is great. And then uh, John and Theo, they're newer to me. I've seen them around for, uh, I think they've been around for a year. And uh, a lot of my friends that I follow on here uh, speak highly of both those guys and their collections. And like I said, I have seen some of their stuff. I just don't watch it religiously. But this joining forces, all four of them, will probably get me now to be going to the channel more frequently because this video I saw, both of those guys are class acts. And I did enjoy what they had to say. So they have a, like I said, a video response, and they had uh, one of each individual channel to shout out for channels and show four cards. As you can see, there's a theme here uh, that reminds you of that person's channel. And so I want to make sure I do that. I wrote some stuff down because I don't want to forget anything because there was a few moving parts uh, to this. Uh, so anyways, with that being said, obviously it's the obligatory you know, you can't talk about everybody because they're asking for different specific uh, channels. So if you got left out, uh, don't don't weep, don't gnash your teeth, don't cry. Remember, I still love you. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to do uh, four different cards. So the first one up is Willie Stargell right here. Maybe over here is a little bit better. There you go. Willie Stargell, I'm going to be uh, shout out the channel who really needs my help because he's struggling to get subscribers and the people watch. That's John Mangini. If you know Mangini, you know that he used to play baseball with Willie Stargell. He used to take batting lessons. He used to sit on Bill Mazeroski's lap and he would tell them stories around the Christmas tree and Roberto Clemente was Santa Claus one year for him and there was like the uh, Franco Nero or whatever his name is used to uh, play football for Thanksgiving in the back of John Mangini's uh, backyard. If you know my Mangini, he always is shouting out his connection with Pittsburgh and all the different players over the years and just like talks about like their family. He like, I used to play golf with, you know, I don't even know, Honus Wagner. I mean, he just always talking about something. So, John Mangini, great guy, great friend. I got a chance to meet him this past year. Uh, he's been a supporter of my channel. He's one of the very few big boy channels that uh, is not scared to be friends with me, not scared to come to my channel, stir the pot a bit. A lot of the other channels, they want to play nice. Totally understand. I get it. Uh, but John Mangini is not one to care about those things. And I really appreciate that because it kind of takes balls, to be honest, to say and hang out and be around me at some times because I can be a loose cannon. And so I appreciate his friendship. And, you know, we talk on almost, if not a daily basis, a semi-daily basis, either through messaging or on the phone at some point or shoot each other a meme here and there. So 
Anyways, John Mangini, the Mangini Collection. Check it out. Uh, next one up, another guy who, you know, needs my help uh, because, you know, his collection's kind of meh. You know, uh, this right here is Bob Clemente, not to be confused with Roberto. It is Dave Blue Jacket 66. He sent me this card out of the kindness of his heart. Every time I look at this card in my collection, I get all emotional, I get very emo. Uh, such a great guy. Um, you know, I know he has a collection that is better than, better than yours, and you know it, and he knows it. Uh, I like Dave's dry sense of humor, his smugness, his abrasiveness. I know he talks about it sometimes on his channel, how people, uh, you know, respond, uh, maybe not such in a kind way or people get put off. I just enjoy it. I just like, he's just being himself. I mean, you know, he's a, I, if I'm, I, I could be wrong, but if I remember correctly, he's an emergency room doctor. He's saving lives. What are you doing? You're flipping hamburgers at the local White Castle. You're a Walmart greeter. He's saving lives. Okay. So I will give that, uh, Type that type of mindset to him every time, but the dude cannot be more generous. The guy cannot be more generous with his time, his knowledge, his expertise. Um, but anyways, you know when I look at this car, when I when I with channels that when they do videos and and Dave's channel is, is like a fine wine. He's not producing content like eighteen times a week. He's once maybe one two three months. You know he'll do a video. So when he does his videos, is usually top shelf it's that top tier you know vodka top tier tequila you know it's that gold standard but uh when i received this card in the mail completely unsolicited was amazing i sent him something like maybe you know way before uh some japanese mini posters or mini magazine about uh, he's a big fan of the fe of females which i completely respect respect and can uh, appreciate and he's and back in the day he was would show a lot more like uh, images and and uh, photos and autographs or posters of of uh, his like pop culture uh, uh, approach to collecting, and I really responded to that as well. So yeah, Dave Blue Jacket sixty six needs all the help he can get. Somebody who is a kindred spirit who I know in real life I would hang out with him probably as much as I can because I just think the guy is a great guy. We have so much in common. Uh, is Tony J.P. Wisco, and I picked up a Norichika Aoki autograph card to shout him out right here. As you all know, uh, J.P. Wisco, Tony, is from uh, Wisconsin. I'm not very sure he's really from Milwaukee, per se, but I know he's from Wisconsin. But the Brewers are his team, being from his state, and this is one of his favorite players uh, because he was a brewer for a while. I think he is now back in Japan. And, you know, uh, Aoki was, he played for a couple different teams in America. He actually ended up being a pretty good, you know, player for the most part. But uh, he did not make it, uh, you know, but maybe five years-ish, I would say. But he's a big fan. Uh, J.B. Wisco's channel, you know, obviously the first two I did with Tongue and Cheek, J.B. Wisco channel is amazing. If you like just good conversation about baseball cards, he lives in Japan. He lives in Tokyo or the Tokyo area. Uh, but he talks about the Japanese aspect of the game with the players, uh, both coming from Japan now into America, the ones that are up, up and coming in Japan. And just like he'll just do box breaks and pack breaks, and he'll just talk about cards. I mean, he has an amazing collection. It's not just about Japan and Japanese baseball cards, though that is a, a central focal point of his channel. It, he just talks about cards in general, players uh, that are just, you know, make, you know, rookies and all that. So uh, Tony's channel, JP Wisco, you have to check it out. Dude is criminally underrated. And it's hard to commit crime in Japan because it's such a great country, but it is criminally underrated. Uh, so definitely please check out JP Wisco when you get a chance. You will not be disappointed. And the last one is a, they need all the rehabilitation they can get. Uh, they uh, they hit a couple speed bumps in the road the last couple months or last month and change. And then they double down uh, on that thinking somehow they're mightier, they're, they're, thou art so mighty and uh, untouchable a status 
would keep them above the fray of their ridiculousness. Uh, however, that is not the case, and people want to think the best of this channel and this guy in particular, but when there's smoke, there is fire. I have completely lost respect for this channel, but they may need their, re their rehabilitation and a good um, you know, push to try to get them back on track. Maybe uh, this is their opportunity to come clean, apologize, say that they you know, are scumbags and they should have done better and known better. But it is Ty chasing cardboard with The Rock will forever be around his neck, dragging him to the bottom of the ocean. This cinder block of a card will have ruined their channel, and probably at least their credibility with people who are in the know, people who want to live in a fantasy land of unicorns and rainbow bright and cherries and all that jazz will probably not care. But uh, when you try to pass off the Rock autograph cards as authentic and then backtrack and then relist them and then do videos of blaming everybody else for your own screw-ups and not take ownership of it is pretty shitty. So um, this guy right here, the Rock, did not do anything. He was not, he did not harm anybody in the making of those videos Dwayne The Rock Johnson uh, does not endorse that type of behavior, I would assume. But Ty and Chasing Cardboard probably needs to figure it out. Uh, but this channel uh, probably needs a shout out just because they are circling the drain at the moment. And they really, I mean, the guy had such, such balls that he did a video about what you should not do or need to do in autograph collecting and I'm I'm thinking he does not he's not reading the room. So shouting out this channel, let people know, check them out. Maybe they're gonna write the ship. They're not gonna go right into an iceberg. Maybe they'll continue to head into the iceberg and go completely obliterate the channel. Obliterate it. So who knows? But I was shocked and appalled because this channel was a channel I supported from the inception. That word propped up twice in my video. And the, some of the people associated, I consider, you know, quasi, like, good acquaintances. I wouldn't say necessarily friends, but acquaintances. And um, they're just pretending it's like this ain't really happening. And so, anyway, thought it was interesting. Thought I would But now, let's talk about channels that associate cards with certain channels. And you cannot not associate Chasing Cardboard with The Rock. So until the next time, guys, thank you for watching. Please check out Four Collectors. Uh, I believe uh, their content, based on what I see and the people involved, is going to be epic. I'm super excited. I think they're going to bring on people throughout the month. Uh, just, uh, just talk about, you know, sports cards and baseball cards and all that jazz. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that channel grow and see what they end up doing with their content. And so please check them out. I will leave the links below. I used to say that all the time and I wouldn't do it because I just would forget or was lazy, but that is not the case today. I will make sure I get their channels uh, links over there and uh, hopefully check them out until next time. Thank you for watching again. Peace.